Thanks to Apple marketing, many people have heard about the Apple Pencil, but only some know what it can really do. For example, the average user might not be familiar with its pressure sensing capabilities, while others may not know its full set of features can only be unlocked with an iPad Pro. In this video, we'll take you through some tips and tricks you might not know about Apple Pencil, along with new Pencil-specific features arriving alongside iOS 11 this fall. We'll also show you some handy accessories and a few interesting apps that could take advantage of Apple Pencil's unique capabilities. Pairing an Apple Pencil with an iPad Pro is a breeze. Simply connect the Pencil to your tablet's lightning port and you're done. Battery life is displayed on the battery widget in the iOS Today view. Charging is done the same way as pairing, but you obviously can't use the Pencil or charge the iPad Pro in the meantime. Plus, Pencil sticks out so far that storing it while charging will become an issue. Luckily, Pencil comes with a female to female lightning adapter in the box, allowing you to use a standard lightning cable to charge from just about anywhere. Apple also built in a quick charge function that juices up the Pencil's battery to 30 minutes of use time in just 15 seconds. Let's run through some of the new iOS 11 features that make use of the Apple Pencil. We've made separate videos on all of these features, so click the card above if you're interested. First up, there's Instant Markup, which allows you to instantly tap into a recent screenshot, mark it up, and share it. Then there's Instant Notes. Just tap the lock screen with your pencil to bring up the Notes app without having to unlock your iPad Pro. Inline Drawing in Mail and Notes allows you to draw instantly without having to tell the device when you're switching to your pencil. With the new AI machine learning, iOS 11 is smart enough to read and understand your handwritten text, allowing you to find words using a spotlight search. You can use a pencil with iOS 11's new drag and drop feature, and even tap on more items with your finger to add them to the stack of floating items. You can easily sign documents and contracts using the new scanning app and instantly share them. The new ProMotion 120Hz refresh rate on the latest 2017 iPad Pro models makes all of these features work better by reducing pencil input latency to 20 milliseconds, making it feel even more like you're actually writing on paper. Here are some other interesting features that have been around for a while but are still worth noting. Palm rejection works great, allowing you to rest your hand on your iPad Pro's display while still using Apple Pencil. Unfortunately, you can't perform certain gestures, like swiping up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the app switcher. And you also can't perform a simulated force touch by long pressing on the screen, so you'll have to use a finger for that. What you can do is swipe down from the top of the screen to bring up Spotlight Search. You can then tap with your Apple Pencil to type, and even use the new key flicking feature that is coming to iOS 11. The Apple Pencil becomes very useful when users need pinpoint accuracy, like tapping or copying a small link in Safari, or making fine adjustments while editing a photo. You can even draw through a standard piece of paper, allowing you to trace over an old drawing to make a digital copy. Some users prefer macOS drawing and editing apps, which is why some are reluctant to buy an iPad Pro. Luckily, there's a Duet Pro app which mirrors your iPad Pro's display onto your Mac via USB. It supports pressure sensitivity and can draw directly into apps like Photoshop. If you prefer a wireless experience while still supporting the Pencil's pressure sensitivity and palm rejection, there's an app called AstroPad Studio. This does the same thing as Duet Pro, but over a Wi-Fi connection with decently low latency. Developers have recently showed off some iOS 11 ARKit demonstrations, including a new sculpting app called Maker Studio, which illustrates an Apple Pencil being used to create a face in 3D space. This is only the beginning for augmented reality apps, so we can expect a lot more in the near future. Here are some other apps that make good use out of the very fine detail and control afforded by the Apple Pencil. Adobe Comp CC can utilize the precision of Apple Pencil to create layouts and compositions, then send them directly into other Adobe CC apps to refine and finish. Color Splash is an app that turns a photo into black and white while keeping your chosen details in color. UMake is an app that lets you sketch and design 3D models. You can then export your files to other CAD apps and eventually 3D print them. Finally, there's Affinity Photo, which provides tools for professional level edits on all of your photos. One issue with the Apple Pencil is it's very easy to forget or lose since there's no included carrying case. Luckily, Apple has recently released a new leather sleeve case for the iPad Pro, which includes a built-in microfiber sleeve custom designed for Pencil. There's also a host of other budget-friendly case options available that can turn your Apple Pencil into an everyday carry item. But let's say you already have Apple's smart keyboard. There's a bunch of available aftermarket Apple Pencil accessories like stylus slings and pencil holders that let you clip the device onto a case of your choosing. If you can think of any other unique apps or ways to use the Apple Pencil, let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.